Edgar is an artist with a skill so rare, his paintings are vibrant and full of flair. Poems, Valentine's Day, and high school. It's almost cliche. With laughter and jokes, she lights up the room, a true gem, a blessing in bloom. But these poems for every student at Edmonton's Old Skona School, produced by just three students come with a small disclaimer. So on our cards, we have a clear disclaimer on our cards that it was written by artificial intelligence. Pretty hard generating 369 poems by ourselves, but just three people. So we thought, well, we could probably use ChatGPT and use it positively. The poems aren't completely generated by artificial intelligence. They enlisted volunteers to come up with personalized compliments to input into the open AI chat bot chat GPT. This collaboration between the volunteers was glued together by ChatGPT, um, which turned it into quality poems for each individual, and they would always be personalized. And it's about more than just poems. Teachers here at Old Skona say it's an opportunity to get all students excited to learn about the ethics of AI. New relevant technology in terms of it, understanding what is like an ethical way of using it, making sure it's used for kind of an appropriate or good reason. So, I mean, there is a lot of bad reasons as well, but it can be done for good in this case with the creativity aspect of it. Jeff Karras teaches computer sciences and he says his co-workers at the academic school have already started adding software that checks not just for plagiarism but AI generated essays but says he's glad the student-led project is highlighting the positives of new tech that is expected to shape their future. Like even AI now when it's like still pretty limited it's already like in our lives like Siri and Amazon on Echo, both use AI for like language, uh, language recognition and stuff. And uh, in the future, it will only become more advanced and more integrated into our everyday lives. Student David Liu says some of the poems had to be redone. Just like slang, like oh, calling yeah. someone yeah. a goat. Like. <laughs> the AI not able to distinguish between the acronym for greatest of all time and the barnyard animal. Interpreted it to like literally <laughs> and then actually called them a goat. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.